Okay, we're here at Sands End. It's just starting to get light. Looks like it's going to be a nice day. Bit of cloud, but looking lovely. Yeah, I'm in the sand's end, I'm going to explore the jet rock. Some good exposures of uh, jet rock at sand's end. So, expect Elegantisserus, Arposerus, Ammonites from there. Sometimes something a bit rarer, Clavicerus or uh, Hildites. We're going to see what we can find. There'll obviously be a few Dax, I'm sure, as well, and possibly the odd Hildy that's uh, dropped out of the cliff. A little robin. Mm. <laughs> off. I will be in a minute. Illuminated. Cheeky little things. Still there. <laughs> we'll find some worms. <laughs> what are you? Can you not fly? Maybe not. See you later, little robin. Ah, it's lovely and peaceful this time of day. <sighs> Almost there now. Ah, looking over the cliff, the tide, that has been quite a big one uh, today. It's still quite high, even though we're, we're almost two hours after high tide. So. Uh, yeah, it's taking a while going out. So we may be waiting a little while, but we can explore the beach down the bottom of the steps and just wait for the uh, the tide to go out. Always advisable to follow the tide out rather than be uh, rushing um, with the tide coming in. And if you're not familiar with the beach, you shouldn't do that at all, really. Always go on the falling tide. Uh, it's definitely autumn now. All the ferns are turning golden and brown. They look beautiful in the sunrise. Oh yeah, there's not a lot of beach at all. Not a lot of beach at all. Right. Yeah. So, we've got a bit of shale showing few pebbles but we can probably get around the point but we're gonna have a look around here first and see what we can find having gone down this carefully I have invested in some new spikes for the boots just make a big difference when you're trying to get over slippy uh, slippy rocks having boot spikes I'm going to put the light on because it's still a little bit uh, there we go. It's still a little bit dark and it does definitely help to spot the fossils. Something has just dropped out. I better get the hammer out. 
probably put my coat away because it's really warm. <laughs> come across this cannonball uh, there's definitely some signs in there that one's worn away there's one there might not be all there sign of one there and I think that might be a big one there oh yes I think it is oh yeah I think that's definitely a big one there Give that another wash. Oh yeah, that's definitely a keel. You see that's all nice and brown there. All the pyrite on that, wow. All the pyrite crystals. Well, it's definitely got one in there. Definitely got one in. It's a decent size one, so these ones probably have to come off on the top. I don't think I will split it. I think that's probably a fairly decent, decent one in there. So we'll take that as is. All right, I've uh, just spotted another cannonball. Almost lost my uh, chisel. Stapping it out. <sighs> almost perfect so this one's this one's definitely a splitter Oop, retreat <laughs> yeah so no signs on that one so this one's definitely a splitter so we'll uh, we'll see if we can find an elegant isserus in it Chipping pie right off, that's never good. I'm guessing there's no in that one. Guessing the note in that one. Well, I just noticed this uh, this little pebble. I just noticed that bit there. It's obviously been hit before and left, but there's something in there. Let me have a look. Whee! A lovely little pop. It's mostly there. Nice negative as well. That can go in the bag. Yeah, I was just putting that in the bag and I turned around and I just noticed that. Oh, is it all there? Yes, I think it is. Oh yeah, that's how we like to find them. Got a little bit damaged there, but that's quite a, that's a nice size neck there. Look at that mouth border. Lovely. Right, try to put that in the bag now. Ah, so. Ooh. The tide has been kind and has washed quite a lot of nodules out. One, two, three, four, five, six. A few over there as well. That one's definitely got. Oh, that looks like a, a phosphorus block. Ooh. So I'm going to spend a bit of time here just bashing through some of these nodules because there could be some good stuff in here. shame so that looks like that isn't preserved there was one there as well could have been some viscerous that there's some rocks to find here that's promising as well 
the dimple on that one. Prints of Harpocerus all over uh, these bits of shale. Another one over there, look. It might be a bit flat, that one. I guess it's time to, uh, to bash them open. <laughs> See if we actually have anything inside. That with a small one. Seems really hard to open sometimes. One's an empty. See that one looks promising. It's a lovely little donkey thing. Nothing showing. Probably empty as well. Have to do with these on the shale. This one could be open side, or is it all just on the surface? There, lovely stuff, but yeah, it's not preserved. Kind of hoping there's going to be a full one in here. Yeah, there is not. Well, so that could be there from the other side. 
I've lost, lost a bit of the mouth guard because there's actually a shell in it and that shell's cleaved it there but yeah, I just don't know if that's a centre or not so it's a hypothesis because there's a lateral groove Yeah, just worried that centre might not be there because there's uh, quite a lot of decay there. But we'll put it in the bag, it's only small. Quite an interesting piece. It might uh, it might prep out, it might not. There's not much to prep out, only that centre, so it should be a quick job anyway if, if needs be. So, out of all that, unfortunately we had one right on the edge which broke. Um, wasn't preserved and that tiny one that I've just shown you so yeah never mind right rock so just got to keep looking gonna fall there but there's no in that one now looks at that Ooh. can you spot the deck it's a big one Might not be all there that one. But oh well, yeah, definitely some missing there, but maybe just give it a tap and see if there's a centre. No, there's no centre there at all. It's just all the outer worlds, the rest of it's shale. So oh well, never mind. bone yeah I think that's actual bone actually instead of fish bone I'm not sure hmm it's not a vertebrae hmm definitely I think that's a bit of bone I'll keep that I'm not sure what it is it's not flaky like fish bone I think that's an actual piece of bone so I'm not a bone expert I'll have to get that identified interesting stuff I can go in the bag Dak. That's a little dak, but I don't think there's a centre on it. Oh, might be a centre, but there's no, definitely no keels. Oh, there might be one there, though. Is it all there? Ooh, might, might not be. And another. Uh, that one looks alright though. Ooh, a little bit missing, but yeah, that one looks alright. Tiny little hot spot there. Still there. Still drizzling. That looks interesting. That looks like an ildi. I think that is an ildi. It is an ildi. A bit worn, but it's uh, definitely an ildi. So I dare split it. I don't find much else today. I'll just take it as it is.
typically. There we go. Ah, look at that. Lovely. Not a bad ildi. Bit of wear, but quite a nice size one. Yeah, just worn away a bit on the outer edge, but cool. Can go in the bag. I've just seen this. Oh, yes, that's got an elegantisserus inside, and it looks ripe for popping. So, I'm just giving it a tap with a hammer. Look at that. So, there's one there. That's an imprint on top of it. There's one there, and a half one there. A bit there. Lovely. Oh, that big one will. Tidy up quite nicely that. Take that middle out. So, yes, yeah, so there's a little one on that side. Cool, nice little spot, eh? Let's pick this one up. Just see, there's a cross section there. There's also a bit there, it looks like uh, maybe grass isle bituminous shales. Could be a little half hole in there, I'm not sure if there's a full one or not though. If it will actually split open. It's a shame, it's only half a one. That's a shame, that. Yeah, it's a shame. Lovely ammonites these, though. Yeah, I think I found something good. All right, might have to go back to the car with this one though, because it's a big lump. Is that a massive harpo? That damn looks like something. That is definitely an ammonite. Definitely an ammonite. God, is it there? Ugh. Turns out to be an ildi. Interestingly enough, I think this bit here is actually the top of the grey shales. So when I was trying to get the camera working and it wasn't, I did walk past a nodule with a, a semi-salatum uh, imprint in it. So yeah, the the, uh, the beds do go in. Um, what we're finding is lots of um, nice little nodules here with um, elegantisserus in. That looks uh, like a little multi pot. So well, that might just split nicely. Very gentle with it. Look at that. <laughs> Lovely. Oh, let's pull that off there. Oh, look at the colours. Isn't that lovely? Yeah, nice. A bit of uh, iridescence on that one. Lovely stuff. Not much more to find, but I just come across these little beauties. Tried to split it, but it's not splitting. Um, little fat back. Shouldn't take a lot of prep work. Small but nice. Let's carry on. That's interesting. Oh, <laughs> look at that. Lovely duck. An odd shaped nodule, but yeah, that's a nice duck in there. Come a few across a few broken ones, but that one 
just presented itself. Ooh, could be a bit squashed. So, oh, that's interesting. It's got spines on them. It's quite well spaced. It's a bit different. Assuming a Peronocerus species of some sort, but yeah, it's definitely squished. Plus there's uh, a little bit of keel there. But yeah, it's uh, unusual uh, nodes on that. I'll put it in the bag anyway, even though it's squished. Maybe of interest. a good nodule. I'll definitely give that a tap. So there's a bit, a bit of stuff here as well. Another piece of phyloceros. I don't think that's all there. No it's not. I'll just find a suitable anvil. And it's empty. <laughs> Never mind. Again, not quite sure on that preservation, but it's got a bit there. I think it's probably all there. I'd come and have a look at this side. Not been this way before. This always always looks to be cut off, no matter what time the tide. But uh, I'm going to make it to that point and have a look round and see if it's passable. They're nodules, but not seeing any. It's quite a fat one. Got a lot of shells in there as well. Ooh. Be worth a tap. about another half an hour to tide being low you can see it's <laughs> all the way up to the cliffs here already so yeah if you come this way you don't have a lot of time if you have to double back so I'm just going to go to that point and see whether uh, the way is clear so I don't want to get wet feet 
and if it's clear I will walk the, uh, the course bit because I've not done it before. Tiny little grass aisle in the middle of it. <laughs> Sun's end from this side. Oh, yeah. Oh. That big beastie. It's in a bash already. If we get round this point here, that's fine, we'll walk back this way. If not, we're going back to the path. I did think I'd see a few more cannonball -y stuff round this way. I don't think it gets, gets collected very often. I see, you've got to have the, the low tide. Well, that sun's end over there. We'd be over in the distance. We've come around the corner now. So yeah, we'll make our way back home to the car. And then I think look for a second location. It's, uh, it's not quite low tide. So we'll have an incoming tide somewhere uh, for a couple of hours. Uh, yeah, no, is it millstones? I wonder if they're the millstones. The Jet Rock series has uh, some quite large nodules. There's the millstones, there's uh, uh, pseudo vertebrae, uh, peak stones, but obviously they're only a peak. And I'm sure there's another one that I can't remember. Uh, like fairy tables, but yeah, they're all associated with different beds. Ooh, that looks a nice fat one. That is the way with cannonballs. You're probably uh, only lucky, maybe one out of 20. Even when you're looking in the right place. <laughs> but yeah, when you find one as good as that, you've got to give it a whack, just in case there could be something amazing inside. I right, just found this one and it's got a little bit of a keel there, I think. Is it a keel or is it a shell? Could be a keel, could be a shell. Hmm. I'm going to have to give it a whack again. Just in case. Let's see what happens. Probably nothing. No. Nothing. Oh well.
Oh. Oh, it's now. Keels in that one as well. It's been whacked. Keels going all the way though. Okay, so that was it for Sands End. Uh, it's a pretty good uh, fossil hunt really with uh, lots of ammonites. Uh, so don't forget to check out my uh, channel. Uh, I've got a competition running at the moment uh, to win a, a nice Hildoceros ammonite. Uh, you just got to guess how many uh, fossils are in the, uh, the giant leffy glass. So if you leave a, uh, a like, uh, subscribe to the channel and uh, leave a comment under that video uh, of uh, how many fossils are in the, uh, the leffy jar, uh, you might win an ammonite. So, I'm um, going to be um, looking at drawing that in uh, December um, and keep an eye out for some more uh, videos coming soon So I've got another uh, hunt video to uh, put up shortly. Just need to edit it and uh, get it up online uh, So thanks for watching. See you soon